Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and I have angelic messages for us for August 2023. I am putting that date on there, but please remember that these are timeless actually and you can watch this at any time. But what we're going to do here, we'll get a general overview of August 2023 and then I will pull a card for each sign. So you might want to watch for your sun, moon, rising, even your Venus sign, if you think that might be helpful. So let's tune in together <laughs> and let's see what is coming up here. So we do have the 88 portal, the Lionsgate portal in there. And this is being, they're saying we highly suggest you take <laughs> time uh, during that portal. Let me move my mic closer. I do that every time. Um, we highly recommend that you make the most of that energetic portal because of the things that could be occurring around the world. Um, collapses of systems, that's going to be picking up here in August, okay? And of course, weather, um, massive hurricanes, and th that will be starting up here in August. So, what do we have here? So, we, <laughs> I just said hurricanes and we have king of water. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart. Okay, so the 8-8 portal in large part is to open your heart, bring in uh, higher frequency messaging from your angels, archangels, spirit guides, you name it. Talking to your loved ones on the other side, all of that good stuff. All right. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. That charity work lights up in me this notion of, you know, I mean, you can go literally do charity work, but carrying kindness, carrying grace. I just did a channeled message that I'm going to be posting uh, on the, I don't know if I can say it here, but on the other platform that's really popular, the the clock app. I'm telling you, it's, it's I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But anyway, the king of water is asking us to carry that compassion within us and a lot of people who are intellectually intelligent um they're going to be panicking i believe i said that in the weekly for the um when was that mid-july somewhere in there for the third week of july i think it came up yeah so i'm going to continue with that people who are emotionally intelligent because we have the eight of water going on here too King of Water is emotional intelligence. It's social intelligence. It's being considerate of others, not just, you know, living in your world as if everybody has to revolve around you. Now, some of you watching this have had to experience that, and now you're moving away from it and saying, okay, I don't care if society honors people who are cutthroat or super logistical to the point where they would make fun of anybody who has any form of of faith. I'm no longer giving into that because that feels like a, a giant distraction. It feels like we are being pulled away from our actual power. Now, some people have given into that. They've created this whole fake structure of power based on their limitations. And we bought into it. We're moving away from that now. And this might come with a lot of destruction. This might come with people saying, hey, we have power over this, this, and this. Like, we have power over your money. We have power over your housing. We have all this power. And then we start going, no, you don't. And even if you take that structure and place away from us, we'll figure it out. We always have, and we will. So this says a desire to move on. A desire to move on from this old way of doing things. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So we're not, it's interesting because the king is a leader. So this is stepping into almost like emotional intelligence, leadership, no longer giving in to the fake power structure, moving away from it. Okay. What's the next card? My goodness. The wheel, the number is 10. We are done. Okay. <laughs> Archangel Michael, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Now, here's the thing. Things really start breaking down so that they can break open here in August or whenever you end up seeing this, okay? But uh, yes, this is good fortune, but this is also, I don't know, like, forgive this um, imagery if it doesn't make sense. But like, I'm, you know, there's the traditional wheel, but I'm seeing the wheel where 
um, the water would come down like, and it would generate power, I guess. Um, but using that as a way to clear away debris, I don't even think that really exists in this world or if it does, okay, great. Um, but I'm seeing that type of wheel where the water would come down and it would create power, except it's not water, it's debris. So it's sort of like, you know, get all that going and get that out of here because we want a fresh start. We want to move in a positive new direction. So that's good, but then we have four of air. We're a little tired, okay? <laughs> time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So there's a recovery moment here. And it's not the type of recovery like, oh gosh, we're all just in pain and we're scared and we're trying to make our next move. We know exactly what we want to do next. We're just giving our hearts a break from everything that it, we've been through. And then being able to make a better choice once we're out of that. This Florida, I know this is so specific. Hang with me here. Florida, watch out. Um, very weird things are going on there. Um, the, the southern part of Florida has always been a little weird. Isn't that where Key West is? I went there one time. I should know. But it was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that had, it, it was a nice frequency, but it was like another planet. It, it felt very off. Something is shifting around there. And anything that would be lined up with like the bottom uh, part of Florida around the world. You're going to be seeing strange happenings, um, strange animals, uh, things like that. Because, <laughs> listen, um... <laughs> Uh, at the risk of sounding like a crazy person, uh, there's something going on with dimensional frequencies. And you always hear me talk about the wobble. This is where, you know when people have those, uh, where we see where like something just came out of nowhere, or we have the Mandela effects. The way that that has come through me um, with angelic channeling and messaging is that there's a wobble in the dimension dimensional fields. So it's not exactly like a clean hop. You don't really do this. You sort of curl into one and then bring some of the energy back and then you curl in a little deeper maybe in certain situations. So around those parts of the world, that wobble is going to be strong and it is being manipulated to some extent. So yes, that is in place, but it doesn't have the power over us that we may think. Okay, that's August. Hold tight. We're going to get a color card. <laughs> All right. We have red. Uh, free yourself from pain. The number is two. This is root chakra. This is sense of safety. Balance. You know, two is balance. This is Archangel Sandalfin. But that whole release yourself from pain along with all those other cards. We're saying enough. You're not going to make us feel unsafe anymore. You're not going to make us feel like we're less than. You're not going to treat us like a number, okay? A lot of things are breaking open. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that the whole world changes overnight or within one month. Let me sit with this. This is, this is bigger than protests. This is bigger than... Um, you know, people coming out and saying, you know what, uh, we're tired of this system and, you know, we're going to get on social media and use that to change. No, there's something. It's beyond our current knowing and it's something brand new. It is hmm, more information coming out in the mainstream about things like quantum physics, things that other people have been talking about for years and years and they're already experts in this. But now it's just starting to become accepted and acknowledged and <laughs> even as it's first they're saying right now the first presenting of this will be misunderstood it will be misinterpreted because everything that's out there has to come through our ego consciousness and we have to try to squeeze it into density consciousness understanding so we're going to miss the mark at some point secondarily there's a message here that just like the spiritual growth and spiritual awakening of 2012, there is a sort of uh, cheapening 
of all of this where people hook into the fear of it or the the fascination of it and they start practicing from that standpoint this is where we saw a bunch of tarot readers suddenly everyone's a tarot reader you didn't pick angels whatever people okay <laughs> some of y'all could have come on over here and done this but that's cool but everybody went to tarot and often you don't find people who are taking it seriously or understand the ethics that have to go into that when you're messing with energy you cannot play that like it's a game okay no not happening you can't just dip into practices not knowing what you're doing you know you can cause a lot of harm in that way so with this dimensional understanding and dimensional shifting and maybe some of this comes out because there's some scientific under like actual they'll call it scientific proof maybe or whatever some something that indicates hey there might be something to this dimensional shifting we found the way in or we found something unusual here and it has to come from somewhere else. This is not within our realm of understanding, our current realm of understanding. So there's going to be a lot of that. And so there's going to be a lot of fascination, like I said, a lot of dazzling and like, ooh, what could this be? And that's going to set off social media. This is where people who are just in for the thrill of the story, sensationalizing things. And yes, these are exciting developments. It's exciting that our human consciousness is willing to take that in now but we can't come in and distort it to make it entertaining you feel me so watch out for that be i always say this i know i say it all the time be discerning okay <laughs> that's my it's my favorite phrase almost yeah, besides your some negative but um <laughs> the toxic positivity thing but we want to be careful with this please don't get um sort of caught up in the hype don't get distracted don't don't just listen to people because especially on that clock app there are a lot of people come out pretending to be experts and they have no idea what they're talking about okay so let's leave this to the tried and true people tried and true tried and true people who have been studying this for a very long time and they have their research to share so I think that's it for the overall. If you want to work with me, and if you do, you should get in now. I've been trying to tell people for a month now. <laughs> we're going to have all these portals, and angelic messaging is uh, incredible for that. So angelsouls444.com. Uh, make sure you read everything before you sign up. I will get to it as fast as I can. And these are beneficial because not only does a reading open you up to angelic energy so that you can have an angelic encounter and the messages will continue to go. So even if you just book a half hour, you can book as much time as you want on my website, but even if you just book a half hour, when you listen to that, you're opening up to that dimensional frequency, that dimensional energy. You're giving permission for them to come on in. They're going to come closer to you. You'll be able to keep receiving those messages. And every time you listen to that, you know, from the day you get your message, the, the reading that I give you, you'll get more and more out of it. You'll pick up on different things. So these are incredibly valuable. Uh, I want people to be tapping into an angelic frequency. You know, they're not our only helpers, but they're a very strong group. They're here for that purpose why not tune in? All right, angelsouls444.com and let's get on to the signs. Hi there, Aries. So for you, we have two of fire. You've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. This feels like a partner in crime, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not in literal crime, but somebody who shares your passion and this whole thing of you come into your own. I love that. We're working towards authenticity. We're working on coming away from having to fit ourselves into a defined personality for the comfort of others or to fit into society or whatever. And listen, hey, yo, if you're somebody out there who's like, oh, I always go against the grain, baby, baby, baby. Listen, <laughs> like that's, you call that authenticity. Cool if it is, but more often than not, 
you're you're not being authentic. You're just angry and maybe not feeling accepted by one way of life. So you go completely the opposite way. I've met people like this. It's been my clientele sometimes being a rebel just to be a rebel. Again, this is about frequency. This is about energy. If you tap into who you really are, right? You let those passions come on out. As it says, you come into your own, then express from there. So maybe, maybe you're somebody who's been going around um, <laughs> trying to be living the van life when really you want a big house and to set down roots somewhere. But it just seemed like you would be cooler if you were a van life person. You see what I'm saying? Go the other way too, but just keep that in mind. New partnerships are contracts. So be careful right now. We do have Venus in retrograde, so uh, partnerships, connections, how you relate to others. Um, it says continue to move, for, to move forward, but it feels a little bit like there's a potential here for not a broken promise, but a promise is made. But y'all, we're talking about two different things. Okay, so don't assume, don't jump to conclusions. Be careful in communicating if you're working with someone. Okay, so we have here, let me put my list over here so I don't get off track. <laughs> we have Taurus next. Taurus, we have the chariot, the number is seven. This is the number of archangels, right? The That's the archangelic frequency. So when you see 777, you know, people in Vegas are like, yeah, you know, like, the 777, I think. I don't even gamble, so I have no idea. But the seven in an archangelic sense would be a lot of support, a lot of guidance, and when the archangels are coming in and you're open to that and you're open to them helping you, you'll find that something suddenly just does not feel right. Where you wake up one day and you're like, I don't want to be in this home. And then you're making a, a sudden move or a sudden change, so on and so forth. So this is the chariot archangel Metatron. Metatron is about intuition, a lot of things, but <laughs> intuition and upgrading your spiritual self. Letting more of that come up to the surface. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Now, this is moving fast. And what's funny about this is it's almost like if you're focusing on your spiritual self and Metatron is helping you, you're going about your way, you're enjoying your life, you're enjoying this new sense of remembering who you really are. And then all of a sudden you turn around and you realize everyone's looking at you, <laughs> right? Because everybody wants... They, they want to see what your process is or they want to see what's changed. You might have someone come to you and say, hey, something's different. How did you do that? And maybe it'll be someone who's willing to listen or maybe they won't. And I think you'll learn very, very quickly. You have places to go if someone is just going to treat this type of practice with like a shallow dismissiveness or they treat you like a parlor trick, or they treat you like, oh, I, I don't care about all that spiritual growth stuff. Just tell me, am I going to be dating this person? <sighs> Walk away from that. There are people out there who do that. Let them all play in the same playground. But, and I know that sounds a little condescending, but we don't have time for this, okay? If you don't learn that from the chariot card, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So keep that in mind for you guys. And then we have Gemini. Gemini, the number is two. It's the high priestess. So really stay balanced. Balance those two aspects, right? Uh, the physical and the non-physical. This is Archangel Haniel. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Now, I'm, I'm hearing like you might be flip-flopping back and forth between things. You might find it very hard to make a decision this month. And you kind of have no choice but to go, okay, everyone, shh. I've got to get into my intuition because I can't figure this out because it does feel like you're being pulled in two different directions and people have good points on both sides and you're kind of like, eh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm being so afraid to make the wrong choice. But really, this have patience is telling me and the, you know, consider carefully what you want before acting um, is telling me that more information is going to be coming in. As a matter of fact, they're showing it's going to be trickling in. So you don't have to make an immediate decision even if someone is pressuring you to do so. If you need more information, ask for it. Make sure it's coming to you. You can go into meditation and ask 
for more information on you know both on your decision before you make your decision okay so then we have cancer cancer we have knight of fire passionate adventurous self-assured restless a sudden event that needs immediate attention time is of the essence think things through carefully this feels like you've got no wiggle room okay it's sort of like something happens and you have to make a quick decision but it has to be the right decision all right so this is not <laughs> if you just watched Gemini um this is a little bit different like with with that one is like you know tune into your intuition you want to tune into your intuition here too but something isn't going to wait on you something is not going to wait on you so it's the kind of thing where someone comes in and says hey here's this potential would you like to explore it and you might start going well and then somebody else already steps in and said I will that's what's going on for you. Now, as I say that, that does not mean that you get into the energy of desperation. You get into that energy and you're going to mess things up for yourself. All right. So just be careful with this. It feels like you're going to have to battle, battle it out a little bit. The knight is a warrior. All right. So this is a little bit of um, maybe it feels like an audition almost right or of sorts where you have to come in and show what you can do and then let things fall into place the way they will all right so let's get on to leo leo we have nine of air expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies sleepless nights this is the feeling of something sneaking up on you and you know this is your time we've got the 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 lion's gate portal on 88 we've got all these cool things happening but here you are reality sets in so what this feels like is you're kidding yourself and actually i'm hearing this you you're kidding yourself on some things this is that i'm going to be positive maybe at all costs or I don't need to take no for an answer because being a go-getter is where it's at. And you're realizing that, um, no, we're, we're not doing that. If someone sets a boundary, the boundary stays. Okay. So that's part of what's going on here. Now, why the, the worry? It's because you're realizing some of the old ways of approaching things doesn't work. As a matter of fact, it might be working against you. Now, how can you get around this? Just have your heart open. Once your heart is open, that's one of the most beautiful things that could possibly happen, right? So once your heart is wide open, you're letting that compassion and grace lead you. Now you're not going to have so many of those issues. You're not going to worry so much because you haven't misstepped. You haven't let ego, you know, make you fearful or desperate. I'm hearing that there are a lot of factors at play. So this could be something where someone comes back at you and says, I'm done. Okay. Now for some, yes, it will be the ending of a relationship. But for others, and, and I think for most people watching this, it's the sudden realization of, oh gosh, you know, I need to watch caring about my persona so much for some of you and realize how that's affecting others. Okay. The best way I could put it, leave in the comments how that starts playing out for you. Okay. So then we have Virgo, five of earth, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So for you, this is the, oh gosh, things are slowing down. What do I do? Panic, right? Or we're going to be hearing things about money and housing market and the banking system. And, you know, for you, that's going to put you into... For some of you, a spin. So be very careful with this. We don't want to get into that energy of panic and, you know, being drawn down from that. Remember, everything that is happening is to get rid of the old way. So something new will come in. You don't need to be afraid. They, they are saying, you know, keep an eye on things. But don't do anything out of panic. See, that's the thing. I can see some of you... Like you would maybe run to the bank and pull all your money out. You know, like maybe that's not it. <laughs> maybe that's not the thing to do. Um, what Whatever it is, it feels like this sharp like, <gasps> and then just like taking off it. But, but you're like running from your house. Not that anything's actually going on. 
but you heard something could happen. And so you start getting preemptively worried. Um, and it has to do with finances. It has to do with finances. So don't impulsively just put your house on the market because you hear there could be a housing market crash, right? And you're so afraid, whatever, whatever's going to happen with that. Or, um, yeah, I'm hearing spinning out of control. So that, for you guys, it might feel like that. It might feel like circumstances are just spinning out of control. And that's where you get into the, ugh. So it's understandable. It's completely human. But they're letting you know that you are supported. And you don't need to go down that road. Don't lower your frequency. Okay? All right. So Libra, beautiful Libra, we have three of Earth. The power of creativity. Wow, while everybody else is falling apart, you're just over here like, la, la, la. <laughs> the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. So you're doing all right. I do hear that you are laying low. So there may be chaos going on out and around you. And it's not like you're disconnecting like you don't care. It's just I'm going to channel my energy into something different. I'm going to put my energy here as opposed to dispersing it into the wind of panic or whatever the heck is going on. Okay. And really what is funny, it's not like this um, month is going to be easy and just like whatever. I mean, there's going to be things that you're working around. But because you're focusing your energy in such a healthy way, you come through just fine. You're like, you're just like, oh, that happened. Okay. So let's find a creative solution. Let's handle it. That's your mantra, really. It's like, okay, it's fine. We'll handle it. You're in the flow, right? And as you find your little creative solution, you get back to the things that make you happy. It's a beautiful energy for you guys. All right. So we have Scorpio, the dreamer. Scorpio, you finally get a reset. You finally get a chance to let your heart rest. It has been tumultuous. I'm a stellium Scorpio. So yeah, hi. Okay. <laughs> I got you. All right. So we get a we get to zero everything out, start fresh, have a clean slate. The dreamer Archangel Metatron. When Metatron shows up, especially in a time where you're sort of rebuilding, um, it is a DNA upgrade. It's a frequency upgrade. It's expanded consciousness if you engage with this, if you're doing your spiritual practice. For Scorpios, it's going to be more, like it's tempting. The power part is very tantalizing, isn't it, right? So like um, if you feel like something's not going the way you want, you're coming out of such a tough time that you might have a little bit of a sense of entitlement. And in that, you're knowing your power, got a little sense of entitlement, and then you just kind of start manifesting things that you want, even if it's not in the highest good of someone else. Be careful with that. That will come back on you, okay? A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So here's the thing going into August. I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to feel like things, okay, you got everything planned out and then this falls apart and this falls apart and you're like, okay, so are we going to have any chance at the original plan? <laughs> like, And the answer is probably not. Probably not because there is something else coming along to help you. What does this feel like? For some, it's a solution that you didn't see coming, but it's good, okay? For others, it can be a very like almost seems like outlandish um, opportunity. Like somebody has seen what you do and loves it and you had no idea that they even existed, <laughs> right? So it could be like a company that saw your resume online or something and says, hey, we think you'd be great for this role over here. If you're on social media, this could be somebody who sees you and wants to work with you. So keep that in mind. But really, August is still a time of rest for you. All right. So then we have Sagittarius, the sun. We have 19, reduces to 20, which reduces to 2. Archangel Uriel. Uriel is about wisdom and peace and being in that flow that we always talk about, right? Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. This is where you get to put things into action. This is where you start seeing things come to life. For some of you, if you have like, let's say you planted a seed for something you wanted a long time ago and you've just been waiting for it to come to fruition. Here it is. Here it is. Now, 
the harvest looks different than you had anticipated and that is a good thing because it's better it's a lot better now this is your solar plexus the solar plexus can get out of control it can right you can be too sunny <laughs> you could be too like wow like out there or self-centered you know you could do that too so again Uriel is about strength through your wisdom strength through being peaceful that's not denying that things are happening it's not being self-centered it's none of that it's just understanding having done the work and you've planted the seeds so when it starts to come to fruition and it's not exactly the way you had thought you're not going to throw a fit right <laughs> like you're going to be like okay I trust that this is exactly what it needs to be so hang on to that for this month then we have Capricorn page of water see you get a reset as well and I think you need one this is an emotional reset so things may have been stressing you out pulling you in too many different directions you're trying to stay strong but it's been hard to stay strong I got you all right intuitive sensitive artistic friendly a new person enters your life I also want to say a new pet for some of you if you are not somebody who can fully love a pet do not adopt a pet okay you're not a bad person if you don't have a pet <laughs> okay so just putting that out there but I did feel like for some of you this is a new a soul enters into your world okay a relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities this could be this could be another person coming in uh to kind of you, you guys can be new together right or this could be a new relationship with yourself so for some of you there's a deep introspective kind of energy where you look back at some of these hard times that you've been through and you go okay well I'm not doing that again I am going to be more careful with who I trust I'm going to be more careful with um, taking on too much I'm going to be careful with my money I'm going to be careful you know in whatever way so that is your emotional restart where you can shed some of this stress all right then we get into Aquarius my sister is an Aquarius oh five of water sorry Kim okay <laughs> things not turning out the way you'd hope but remember I said that could be a theme of this month you might have been hoping for one thing it starts to do this don't discredit the new way things are turning out you feel me not seeing the positive in a situation I'm telling you this other thing's better cried over spilled milk some of us want things to happen so much just so we don't have to think about it anymore that we push towards something that's good enough but the universe is like eh, no we're not going for good enough we're going for the best we're going for the best of your potential and you keep looking too much at these three cups so we're gonna send a strong wind and knock those things over now they're not even an option for you anymore now turn and walk away oh look here's the best thing for you right so <laughs> this is really you know this can from an ego standpoint be something that gets you upset but the universe is looking out for you trust it okay then we have Pisces so we have the hermit for you the number nine you are coming to a place of completion where you are not um, having to redo the same lessons over and over so this might come with a little bit of an epiphany that you have to sit with that's where that hermit mode comes in. This is Archangel Raziel. Raziel helps us go into the depths, right? To understand how good things can be, but it does require us to go into the unknown. Maybe he's not really associated with shadow. I mean, some people do, I guess, here and there, but it's more about facing what is holding you back. So if you consider that the shadow aspect, then there you go. But Raziel is here to help, to help you see what is possible. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. That is why you're here. These epiphanies, these realizations, maybe you realize something about another person and you need to withdraw and meditate and get in touch with how you actually feel before you proceed, before you move forward, before you, some of you, maybe you were going to work with someone. Maybe you're going to start a business with someone and then you see some irresponsible behavior this can be a little bit I don't know it can be a little bit of well that's not who I thought you were <laughs> right it feels like that or this seemed like really exciting we were caught up in the excitement that we're on the same page and yeah we can do this together and then you start seeing that the other person maybe isn't very kind or they're not going to contribute 
right? They, they just wanted to say they're a part of it. They don't want to actually do the work. So watch out for that. But that is all of the signs. Again, if you would like to work with me, angelsouls444.com. If you love this content, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing, uh, checking me out over on the, the clock app. If you don't know what the clock app is, never mind. It's not for you. It's cool. Okay. But I love you guys. Have a beautiful August or whenever the heck you're watching this. I love you. <laughs> Bye-bye.